August 20th, 2022, from April to Ashley. I hope Balin treats you like you're living in a perfect love story. I don't know what to do or how you got through, but I'm glad that's over for you. I must be the worst human alive. April's telling Ashley LaRue, Aaron's former husband, I hope you got a new relationship and that man treats you great. I don't know how you got through this. You don't want your wife and your ex-wife talking about how fucking awful you are. And what's crazy is this is two years ago. They've been swallowing this pill on air for years. This has been boiling for a long time. This is insane to come out today. April is texting Ashley LaRue, you're so lucky you have a new man and not Aaron. And this is almost two years ago. Please, as always, keep this between us. Your wife and your ex-wife, please keep this between us. Aaron's a monster. You know. And then Ashley says this to April. This is how they used to talk. Sweetheart, what's wrong? I will always have your back. I promise that you deserve nothing but the absolute best. This is Ashley to April. Aaron's been lying to us the whole time. They were fine. I promise you, you deserve nothing but the absolute best because your heart's one of the kindest, most beautiful, loving ones I've ever known. I wish your love story was everything you dreamed of, and it breaks my heart that it isn't. So Ashley LaRue is saying, I wish that your marriage to Aaron was as good as you wanted, and I'm sorry that you're finding out what a piece of shit he is, like I had to. This is two women who have been hurt by the same man commiserating. There's very few women who know what April's going through other than Ashley LaRue, and she's sitting here telling her, it's not you, honey. But the fact that, that April's going, I'm so jealous of your new relationship and, and what you have after Aaron. And Ashley's going, I'm, I'm so sorry your relationship with Aaron isn't what you dreamed. And this is what April says back. I've never seen someone behave with such malice and intent to harm. I'm sobbing my way back to Litchfield right now. And I couldn't help but think of you and I, how I hope you're in a good place. This is April after being abused by Aaron. She's driving home to Mama in Litchfield. And she reaches out to Ashley and says, I hope you're okay. I can't stop thinking about you and how you got out of this. I'm glad you're in a better place. They were friends. They were friends. Please don't tell anyone I said any of this, but I wish I'd known more before it was too late. Got him. Confirmed. April here in 2022. I wish I'd known more before it's too late. And by the way, you know, this is giving a new perspective on April's situation. You know, maybe this girl was so fucking beat up and abused. I'm not kidding. Maybe this she looked at this as a way out. Maybe I'll just let cocaine take over and I'll go numb. And whatever happens, happens. This is so sad and so powerful. Like, what the fuck? More messages from April M. Holt to Ashley LaRue. Especially don't let him know I talked to you. The kids are good. This is very much something he did to me only. Aaron kept all this from us. Aaron, matter of fact, told us a different story. And then Ashley LaRue, again, talking to her like a best friend, like a girlfriend. Babe, I don't know how he isn't loving you with every fiber of his being every day. Because you've given him such exceptional care. This is an ex-wife to a current wife. He should be embracing you. He should be loving you. I I'm sorry you're going through this. I'm so sorry. You always give him grace and love. You honestly are the best thing to have happened to him besides our incredible babies. This doesn't sound like a bitter person. I don't know if he can love anyone but himself sometimes. I really try. Again, two years ago. 
it was falling apart. Ashley replies, I would and will never speak to him about anything you and I have or will talk about. Oops. <laughs> you are one of my dearest friends, and I would never lose your trust, especially when I know the monster behind the scenes. Two women, one currently with him who can't get away and one who got away. The one who's with him now fantasizing about how to get away and the one who's not with him and who got away lamenting and tortured, sleepless nights, thinking about what this other woman is going through because she knows what a monster her ex-husband is. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> 